name is Rosie, and this is Style Access. Today, we are in the studio talking resort wear, and we will see some amazing ensembles. Are you ready to look sexy for your next vacay? Because I am. We will also discuss the latest trends in the world of sunglasses. We are serving up shade, but in a good way. Let's get started. Hello. My name is Rosie, and I'm passionate about fashion. My experiences as a stylist, challenge face-off host, TV personality, and blogger bring us here to discuss all things fashion. Welcome to the Style Access Experience. to mind when you hear cruise, resort, high summer, first summer. It's no wonder many consumers are baffled by the various definitions for the same season. We are making sense of this season called resort wear. What is it and why is it important? Stephanie Jasek is here today to decipher what it actually is. Hello Stephanie. How are you Rosie? Welcome to Style Access. Thank you very much for having me. Not a problem. <laughs> so what is resort wear? So resort wear is anything that um, is nice and light and easy to wear. You think of anything that's relaxing and comfortable. Something that is light and breezy. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm ready <laughs> for the, my vacation yeah. now. And you know, when you're on vacation, mm -hmm. And, or even a staycation. Yes. You really want something that you could lounge in, mm -hmm. something that you could wear over your swimwear. Mm -hmm. So if you're hanging out by the pool or, at, or you're at, on the beach, you want to go make that transition from poolside or beachside to a nice loungewear. So you need something that is flowy, but something that you could put on over your swimwear and say, go and have a cocktail. Okay. So. Many people think of resort wear of something, you're on vacation, so you want to have the feel of, of relaxation okay. and comfort mm -hmm. while you're in style. Okay. So um, that's pretty much my mm -hmm. depiction of resort wear. Okay, so what are some pieces that I should take if I'm going? So if you're going on vacation and most likely say you're going somewhere like St. Bart's oh, or yeah. the Bahamas uh -huh. or Jamaica. Okay. <laughs> You're looking for, for, for items that are breathable, okay. you know, nice light cottons, mm -hmm. things of that nature that is going to really help you to keep cool. Okay. All right. So cool is definitely the factor. You yes. have to remain cool. Yes. And, you know, <laughs> light colors as well because okay. you don't want to stay away from the black. So you want to do more whites and light shades of colors because okay. that will help you know, to keep you cool. Okay. So what's on trend for um, summer resort wear? So a lot of things that are on trends are things that are like tafkins, nice airy things. Okay. You know, things that can make a good transition from, from the beach side to lounge side. That's pretty much what's on trend. You, there's also a lot of cover-ups, cover-ups, you know, over swimwear, mm -hmm. you know, things of that nature because that's real. People want to make most of what they have in their wardrobe. Okay. So if they have a swimwear and they want to lounge maybe at a cocktail party, they want to put something over that. Okay. Not necessarily they have to change, so they want to go from, you know, lounge, swimming, mm -hmm. relaxation to like, nighttime or something like that. Okay, <laughs> so you are the expert. Well, I try to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you have your boutique, La Bustier. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, La Bustier yeah. Boutique um, is very, it's, it's my baby. Okay. And um, we, we work with a lot of uh, women and girls just to show them how to incorporate some styles. Um, although it's a lingerie boutique, you know, we, we carry swimwear. And, and pieces that, you know, some swim tops can even work as just a regular top. Okay. When you pair it with maybe like a pair of jeans or say a nice um, high waist skirt or something. Mm -hmm. So you could, you know, make your wardrobe work, especially for someone who's on a budget mm -hmm. and don't want to have to spend more just to keep getting different outfits is to, you know, combine things from say their swimwear that can go 
something over it and it could get a whole new look. Okay. So that's pretty much on point for what we try to do at the Bustier. So give me an example. So if it's a jumpsuit, so you're saying that I could like just wear the top and yes. I could have it at night yes. for, for my significant other. Exactly. And then also <laughs> dress it up for work if I put on a blazer. Exactly. Oh. And it's exactly the trends because there's a lot of trends in terms of swimwear and lingerie. The trends are strappy, you okay. know, a lot of strappiness because it's, it, it's very sexy. But if you do have a romper or a teddy, it's a, all about layering, layering that piece so that it gives you a different look, so that you have more things that different looks for your wardrobe per se. Okay. okay. <laughs> I love it. Yes, and it, it, it really works for a lot of women because especially if you're on a budget, you know, you have something that you could use. It's like a sleep, lounge, play, work type of theme. Mm -hmm. So you could use it in one sense and you could layer it and use it for other things. Yes. You definitely want to get the bang for your buck. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you brought some models here. Yes, we do. <laughs> I did. To show us some of the latest trends. Yes, yes. and um, we have two models. Okay. Um, I wanted to showcase you know, different body type and, and, and items that would work for each, for each um, body type. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break, mm -hmm. and then we will be right back. Okay, great. Welcome back. We have Stephanie here from Le Bustier, still here with us. Thank you. And now we're going to take a look at some hottest trends for 2016. Let's get started. Here we have La Monica. She's wearing a one-piece monokino which is uh, very strappy in the back with a little zip detail. And this will be perfect to wear um, with a skirt over it mm -hmm. or a pair of jeans okay. to help incorporate that um, transition from swimwear to loungewear. Oh, wow. I really love the back detail. It's very nice. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. And here is another look. This is Colleen. She's more of a more curvier girl yeah. with a high waist um, bikini bottom, which mm -hmm. is very popular. Mm -hmm. And the details in the back. And for someone who likes to hide those little problem areas, mm -hmm. the high waist bikini is the perfect way to go. Okay. Now, what about the two-tone? Is that in to match yes. the top? Okay. Um, it's very trendy to mm -hmm. mix and match different pieces. Okay. And you also get more for your, your buck because if you have a, a solid color, then you could find different tops to mix and match. Okay. Either if you're doing a high waist bottom mm -hmm. or if you're doing just a bikini top, you know, you could always switch it up to make it seem as if you have a lot more pieces. I got it, yes. You definitely, yes. like I said before, you definitely want to get the most exactly. bang for your buck. Exactly. So if you have an all black, you know, swimsuit and you can switch it out with and something else, Perfect. yeah, you can switch that up while you're still on your vacay. Exactly. And that's <laughs> all that it comes down to. And now here's my La Monica. She's still wearing that one piece monokino. Okay. But what, she, what she's done is to put that with a cover up. Okay. Which is very nice because it has the fringe on the bottom, which okay. is very in. Yes. And she could also turn around and use a belt. Okay. To belt this and to get a complete different look. Oh, yes. When you mentioned that about the belt, I think that would be a great touch. Yes, yeah, you because can wear it's also. In terms of the resort wear, mm -hmm. you have that nice flowy feel okay. and easy breezy mm -hmm. of the fabric to just be lounging in. Yes, and like you said, recreate another look by belting it. Exactly. Nice. And this is a color black, which is very popular because it's, it's very bold. It's a strong piece of it, a, oh. a strong statement. Mm -hmm. I love it. Thank you, Monica. Well, thank you, Stephanie, for being with, uh, here with us today. Thank you. It was my pleasure. I do appreciate it, and I love the looks that you share with us today. You're very welcome. <laughs> so we will be right back. With summer looming, it's time to talk sunglasses. We know you usually get your inspiration from your favorite stunner shade wearing 
paparazzi blocking celebrities. However, as you know, your face shape determines what style complements you most. We have Greg here from Federal to get us through this dilemma and tell us about the latest trends of this must-have accessory. Hello, Greg. Hey, how are you? Fine, and you? Yes. <laughs> so tell us about what's trendy in the world of sunglasses. Okay, well, um, right now, what we're doing with sunglasses is a lot of classic styles that are timeless and um, that will last forever, really, you know? So it's, it's, they're not the most trendy, but um, just very stylish. Okay. Now, as far as different shapes and stuff, yes. so what do you look at when you're dealing with um, someone's face or what, what, what is the telltale yeah, side? I mean, you can just tell that a lot of the glasses that we carry, they come in different sizes, mm -hmm. but um, by looking at someone generally. Okay. Now, how many is too many, like, pair of shades? Should I have some oh, for it's, every that's outfit? That's tricky. Or? I mean, with, yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, with me, I have probably 20 different pairs, but, oh, wow. uh -huh. you know, I love uh, different glasses, different looks, but but um, there really is no limit, it's mm -hmm. just up to the individual. Okay, so. well can we try some more? Yeah, for sure. We yeah, also yeah. want to bring in our producer, Jenny, and you can help us find okay. our look. Sure, hi Jenny. <laughs> hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, let's see here. Um, looking at both of you guys mm -hmm. here, we're gonna go, let's see, this guy, that one there, why don't you try that one on, and then maybe, We'll go with something like this, classic frame okay, here for thank you. thank you. Those look good. It's a good yeah. fit. Yeah. What do you think? Ooh, they, I like they look good. Yeah, and okay. that comes in a tortoise color, so that's the black. And that's a classic frame that um, everyone from JFK to Martin Luther King used to wear. Oh, wow. That actual style mm -hmm. um, from that company, Chiron, which had been making glasses for a long time here in, in the U.S. And oh. now, like, a lot of brands kind of copy that style, but they're the originator of that, that frame. Oh, wow, that's yeah. good information. Yes. <laughs> so now I change my hair a lot. So sure. I yeah, yeah. should have different ones, like yeah, I mean, for different Sure, yeah, you could go like that. Or that's, if I'm feeling my mood. Sure, or, yeah. Um, you did talk about trend, and these mm -hmm. are classic, but there is a little trend right now to round glasses. Okay. Which from back in the day, a lot of people wore round, but they are kind of coming back and trending. Mm -hmm. That's a round, um, like acetate plastic frame. Okay. That are really nice. Yeah, those are really cool. Mm -hmm. with, a, with a nice, it's a, called a G15 lens. It's a green lens. Okay. And uh, real clear and real easy to see. Mm -hmm. but, right. um, and let's see, there's another round we have here. Mm -hmm. And this is a round metal foot frame, kind of a classic John Lennon style. Mm -hmm. So. Wow. You Jenny, you want to yeah, try those okay. on? Sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See those. Is it cool? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Jenny has more of a what? Heart-shaped face, would you say? Yeah, it's or just a little wider. And yeah, it's like me. I have a longer face. So it's like, um, but really like with, with glasses, since they do make a lot of the brands that we carry, they make different sizes. So it's like you can pick a frame and just, they're like four sizes. So you can get the right size that kind of will work with with your face. Oh, so you can get yeah. them custom. Yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, that is yeah. wonderful. So, because these okay. guys, these guys that are making these glasses, all make like optical glasses too. So, mm -hmm. um, so they they do the sizes for the optical, so they carry that over into the sunglasses. Okay, okay. And then my facial shape. What you what would you say I have? Um, I would say it's a classic. Square round. Yeah, I mean, it's no, it's not square. It's just I'd say it's right in between. It's, okay. It's, yeah. Okay. Um, this is another good style that fits okay. most people really well. It's. Uh, from Moscot out of New York City. Okay. Of the Lemtosh. And yeah, it's just real easy to wear. I can mm -hmm. put that glass on almost anybody and it's going to fit them well. This is the same glass. It might be a little small, that one. That's the bigger size, mm -hmm. but um, just in a different color. That's mm. so a cool frame. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I like that on you, yeah. Jenny. Thank you. <laughs> so, what is and your go to? Um, I like that, the Limtosh. I have a couple pairs of those okay. um, that I use for my uh, eye, eye glasses and sunglasses. And then I wear a lot of the Chiron, which is the one, this one right here. Okay. Yeah, I have these same thing in my pocket right now. So, okay. Yeah, I love those. It's, it's, it's the good, easy fit. So. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Greg, oh. for coming. We will be right back. Well, this concludes another episode of Style Access. 
Thank you for getting shady and resort ready with me. I hope this show helps somebody. If you discovered your sunglasses type or have a great resort ensemble picture you would like to share with us, send an email to styleaccessdc at gmail.com and we will share on our social media pages. Also, be sure to stay connected with us on Instagram and Facebook at Style Access Show. Till we meet again.